Hello, everyone. It's a big poem. Hello, Alex. It's Bin Day. Yeah. It's Bin's tonight. Bin's Monday. out tonight. It's Bin's Tuesday, tonight. Bin Day, Thursday, Friday, Monday. <laughs> round of applause. Control round of applause for the great Alex Hall. Yeah. Thank you, Control Room. Thanks, guys. Come on, Alex. All right, what's going on with you in the tour? Come on, let's get the big sell out there now. Let's do it again in the right. middle of the chat and let's once again it. at the end. OK, yes, we, we are on tour for the first time for a long time from March till the end of the year. I don't know where we're going or when we're going. Rachel knows that. <laughs> right. Rachel's in charge. But we start at Cheshire United next Friday. Do you actually? You've got to. You've got yeah. To. It's our stadium gig, only 100 people in the bar. Um, <laughs> that's the fundraiser for the club. But anyway, and then, we're, and then we're off. Then we're off around the country. So it's, yeah, me and my five old idiot friends. All right. Very clever idiots. Very funny idiots. Very joyful idiots. They spread joy. That's what they do. They do what it says on the tin. The horn section.com for the horn sections hit show. I don't know what the problem is with this. And people have got in touch about the poster. Apparently the poster looks... Odd as well. I don't know what <laughs> what the issue is. You can Duh. buy. I should say you can buy T-shirts with the name of the show on. Right. So I don't. What I is the name of the show again, problem. Alex? The Horn Sections Hit Show. <laughs> See, the way you say yeah. it, it gets even closer to the edge. Because it's a hit show. We're going to play our, our all of our hit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the idea of the tour is it's just feel good. Because we've. Do, I heard the news. It's not great, is it? So this is just a two hours of feel good. There's no think good. It's just feel good fun. It's Will just, the hit? Hit the fan. Well, the trouble is, the hit is a song all about peas <laughs> and the taste of peas. So we don't think we can talk about that here either. So well, we, mm, <laughs> yeah, mm, yeah. We but have I, less is more. We can play less is more. Yeah, that's you can't play all of that. But it is <laughs> the tour is appropriate for kids aged fourteen and up or right, down. If people have no idea what we're talking about, why are we sort of um, skating or coming in hot on, from very thin ice here? Well, I think the trouble with being a comedy band is that. You know, that's we've got to skirt on thin ice as a comedy band. So the yeah. things which are we're actually really child appropriate, and we don't really say anything bad in the show. Well, but you we don't pull that. any punches at Carfest, do you? No, no. We had quite an afternoon slot where we you said just do what you want, which was very kind of you. Yeah. But so people seem to enjoy it. I was delirious at the time. Okay. Yeah, and you were hilarious at the <laughs> so time, was I. which is great. Delirious meets hilarious. Yeah. The horn sections. Hit show. Perfect. Thank God for apostrophes. Um, so March is where it kicks off officially, or right. when it kicks off officially. Cambridge, uh, Milton Keynes, Salford. Is that right? Is it? Yeah. Wow. Um, in April, Alex, you and your friends mm. and your hit show are going to Liverpool, Middlesbrough, Durham, Buxton and Exeter. That's a big week. Uh, but don't try and get tickets for Durham or Exeter unless you're going on the black market because they're sold out, everybody. Yeah, so go to Middlesbrough and, and Portsmouth instead. Middle, right. Middlesbrough could do with a bit of a push. June 2024, uh, they're going to Leicester, Guildford, Portsmouth, Norwich, Cardiff, Coventry, Nottingham, July, St Albans, just the one date in July. Yeah. yeah. September, uh, Birmingham, <laughs> Hull City Hall, goes through to October. Mm. Durham, Belfast, Dublin, London, Nottingham, Bristol, Bath, Brighton, Novemberage, Edinburgh, Aberdeen, Newcastle, Leeds, Halifax, Sheffield, Bexhill, Reading, Oxford. Further dates may be added yes. if it goes well. And I think the Palladium is in the middle of all that, which is sort Shut of up! the bigger, biggest The Palladium? One. Yeah, we have done it once before, so it's really exciting to go back there. That feels like a... It feels like our spiritual home, although, we, you know, it's not, because we've only been there so, once. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, this is the sort of place we'd love to be our spiritual home. Yeah, Because it's such a fun space. <laughs> it's a fun it's, space, Chris. It's been described as other things. Yeah. And also, it's a fun space in an amazing place. The London Palladium. Did you ever in your wildest dream? No, not at all. And it's so weird when you go and see a show at places like that and think, oh, we've been on that. Or oh, we're going there soon. It's very surreal. And, yeah, it's a real pleasure. So we are, we are trying to make this show reasonably big. So we've got we've bought some... Special Stuff. shirts. We've got a shirt. We've got we've got two halves of a pantomime horse. Unfortunately, we've got I think two back halves. So we've got to somehow make that work. Already great. Yeah, um, pretty pleased with that. Yeah. So, did you actually have to buy two full sets yeah. and just pretend that you didn't? That's I told hilarious. Rachel, I've, I've been on Amazon, Rachel. Where, where'd you buy him? Where'd you buy him? Where'd you buy a pantomime horse? Amazon come daily now. Oh come on, yeah, that's got... hilarious. Well, Amazon comes thricely daily to our house, but we never get a pantomime horse. We just get more things but dressed not, to Natasha. Not cheap, even from Amazon. How much pantomime horses? Well, it should be 200 quid, but obviously it's 400 because I have to buy two back, two back ends. All right, what else did you buy? Well, so the first, well, 
<laughs> There's a song about a camel, a song about cleaning fluids, a song about snow. So we need all three of them in yeah. the show at some point. Oh, you need snow. A lot of darts sh- shirts. Dart shirts? That's our costume this year. Excellent. Uh, Will there be any dartage going on? No, no. I just like the look. It could genuinely. be. There could be. Could yeah, oh, if you want, yeah. Yeah, well, we you, do darts. Maybe you'll have darts backstage. A lot of time to kill. It's either that or drugs. Well, there is a Taskmaster element in the show. I'm just moving on. There, there is a Taskmaster <laughs> element in the show. So that, that can easily have a dart side of it. Yeah, right. there'll be darts. Let's say there'll be darts. Okay. Little a bit of coming. dartistry. Yeah, there'll be some dartistry. We'll jump on that bandwagon. Um, yeah, I don't know what else prop-wise. Um, but it's it's big. We've got a, a huge sign saying, hit show. <laughs> <laughs> it says the horn section, hit show. <laughs> it's mainly about that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, you, you, I bet you're really excited about going on tour, aren't I you? I really am. I really am, because my life is half the year is Taskmaster and half the year... It's a horn section. Yeah. And we've just finished filming the latest bit of Taskmaster, so I'm now chomping at the bit to do something else. You're like Channel 4's Mr. Beast. I've been researching a lot of Mr. Beast because we had this one of a guy called Chris Anderson on yesterday who yes. runs TED Talks. He's the head of TED. He's the TED head. He's written this great book called... Um, uh, Infectious Generosity. Infectious Generosity, which shot to the top of the movie and shake yesterday today after his appearance on the show. And he talks in that <clears throat> book about Mr. Beast. My kids love Mr. Beast. Every time I've seen anything Mr. Beast does on YouTube, I love it. Yeah. So I've been di- took a deep dive into him and his life. He's still only 25. It's he's mad, been YouTubing it? since he was 15. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, he's been YouTubing since he was 11. But it destroyed. He destroyed all the ones between 11 and 14 because his mates used to take the Mickey out of him at school because he wasn't very good. Ha ha! Who's laughing now? Absolutely. Not them. That's for sure. Well, maybe they are, but not as much as he is. And you could say he's laughing all the way to the bank, except he's not because he puts all his money back into. Yeah, he's remarkable. Films. Yeah, uh, I think also I think what he does is he's himself all the time. Like yeah. if you don't know Mr. Beast, you might have this image in your head of real name Jimmy. Yeah, and they call him Jimmy in the show as well, in all the shows. Yeah, I'm a big fan of his. He actually commented on one of my YouTube videos Did he once. Actually? And my kids, it's the one thing that my kids <laughs> It's the respect. one time the kids were like, oh, wow, Dad, this is amazing. Yeah, Everything else a... Alex says, they're like, oh, we don't want to What know did he say? It. it was our What was the video? Golf. Did he Tell us a story. It was our first bad golf video that I do with my friend John Robbins, who's in the next series of Taskmaster. Right. And it's just me and John playing golf badly. John and I playing golf badly. Anyway. and Is uh, there this... an option? Uh, is there an option to play not bad? oh I see no 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 no, no. no. yeah exactly there's me and John playing golf and Mr Beast just wrote this is cool and we're like I think that's Mr this Beast this is cool <laughs> yeah. Mr Beast so odd so he must have sat there and watched me hit show also cool well hopefully yeah wow but I think yeah we I, we, we talk a lot to YouTubers in America there's 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 a program called Game Changer which you'd like which is out there and I think they've found a new way of doing telly but don't tell Channel 4 for that no. no but what I'm saying is because he lives and breathes YouTube as I say he's still only 25 he's now built these studios in North Carolina so he has these movie studios he owns three of them wow. they're 75,000 square foot in area each and the reason he's had to build these is because his Squid Games YouTube video mm. costs four million dollars to make um, and he can't use warehouses because they have the joists in Right. Which is why film studios, studios which you can see from various motorways in Great Britain and highways in America and in um, in the valley over in uh, California, that's why they're square. Right. You might, you might know all this. I don't know if you know all this. Well, we we, we drive past the what for the Harry Potter studios quite often, yeah, and it is that enormous block, isn't it? And, yeah, and yeah. they 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 just look they look I make when you see. 27 on the side of it like you see the numbers on runways giant numbers on the side of square buildings and movie lots i just get really excited yeah. and if there's a few golf buggies around well that's it you know but it's funny because the dude perfect lot have the same system they've got their own warehouses right. but they all started just in their backyards and we kind of with taskmaster we haven't moved on we are still in this tiny little cottage with a tiny backyard and I think the sensible thing would have been to have built a studio. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Not, not ever. No, no. And we've got Junior Taskmaster coming up again, which should be in a studio. But we've not done that. We've... Yeah, but there's still time. <laughs> is there? there? There's still time. I think it's the British way, though, is just to keep it small. Well, it's very sort of theatrical as opposed to stadium-like, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That's the whole thing. Um, have you? I know you have your big annual sort of organic, spontaneous slash not spontaneous Taskmaster mustering mm. uh, which is what f- if people don't know yeah well that's where we gather at Chesham United and play games and the whole of the crowd can become Taskmaster champions we whitt- whittle the 3,000 people down to one and they come from all over the world yeah they, yeah it's very odd um, we haven't got a date for that instead we've got the 
we've got the sort of Taskmaster football match on May the 11th, which you attended last year. Yeah. Um, which is a sort of cross between football and Taskmaster. So I didn't know that was the Taskmaster football match. Well, it's not really. It's a comedy football match, but right. it, it does it attract... very funny. It attracts similar <laughs> people, yeah. We're, you played really well. Um, and also, you lasted the full 90, man. And then I went to hospital with my finger uh, in two yeah, pieces. Yeah, but nothing to do with your leg. That was just a finger injury. Well, I'll take the compliment. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. I didn't score. I got Does an assist. Matter? You ran around for 90 minutes chasing <laughs> I did your run. ball. Well, I, I can run for four leg. hours, but not a, not with sprints and, like, you know, adepts... A, a the odd bit of skill involved. Yeah. Now we're back. We're back with new rules, and uh, new there'll rules. be a multi-ball system for five minutes. We're just trying to make football more entertaining. That's the yeah, because it's really struggling at the moment. <laughs> I think football can be so boring. And if I was in charge, you know, the, the head of the FA is called Alex Horn, or was called Alex Horn. And no we, we, way. We quite often get each other's emails. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, it's completely. That's true. more fun for him than you, I would imagine. <laughs> well, we're similar age as well, but I think yeah, if I could have in met? a couple of rules, we have we've we've corresponded. Nowadays we, you don't need to meet. We had the uh, Captain America, Chris Evans, on the show once, right. and I thought it was going to be hilarious. He just didn't want to know. He was like, "Oh God, his name's Chris Evans." He's going to it's the most exciting thing in the world to have oh. the same name as someone. Yeah, well, I think so. He didn't think that. No. Oh, <laughs> well, he's the bad Chris Evans. Yeah, he's such a baddie for a goodie. Yeah. Don't you think so? Um, the horn section. When did it? When did it? When did you first become the horn section? When did the Beatles meet? I can tell you exactly. It yes. was when Thomas Horn, our eldest, was born. Right. So I remember being... Was it a tribute to him? In Midhurst. No, it's because I was b- frustrated because I was, we had this baby. <laughs> oh, no, not a child. <laughs> we couldn't do any, have any fun anymore. So um, so I was in Midhurst where I live, where my parents live, with, my, with Joe, who's in the band, where we grew up together. So we've known each other 45 years. And we were saying, we've got to do something. We've got to get out of this <laughs> situation. <laughs> so our careers, he was a jazz musician. I was a struggling comedian. And we said, let's, let's unite our, our troubles so we put together this show up in Edinburgh, which is comedy and music, which weirdly isn't done very often because it's expensive. It's also difficult. Yeah, it's quite difficult. It's really yeah, difficult. comedy songs are... To sustain, it's really yeah. difficult. Yeah, and also comedy songs make people groan a bit if you in your head. Because they think they know what's coming and... Yeah, but there are people like... So our heroes are Bill Bailey or Flight of the Concords or Tim Minchin, who are cool. So we're trying to emulate them. But yeah, it's just five jazz musicians who I shouldn't even call jazz musicians because that's not a great advert. Um, so one of them's with, in Robbie Williams' band. One of them plays with Madness and High Flying Bird. So they, they are really proper musicians, and I'm not a musician, but pretend to be. Yes, so so good. And um, what, what was the, what was the, when was the first appearance of the horn section? Uh, how did it go down? What did you learn? And then I must remember to go back to a Palladium question. Right. So the first appearance was actually at Ronnie Scott's, where Mark, who's it's our saxophonist, jazz. I know, he um, I was invited to do a comedy section with them and I made the band play along to me doing comedy and we just thought this is this works so that was the first one and then I've got to remind you to ask me a question about the Palladium okay so, so you're playing the Palladium for the second time it's yes. got, and it's similar to the question I just asked you that's why right um, what did you learn by your experience playing the Palladium the first time that you might deploy for the second time Rach was at the first performance it was actually filmed for the Dave channel and you can see the show on YouTube wow uh, what we learned was it was four hours long. Don't do that. Don't do that. Four hours is long. So it's going to be an hour and a half. I think you... Was it actually four hours long? Yeah. Yeah, because they were doing it for a TV show. Oh, oh my word, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, yeah. So just keep it brief. Keep it short. I think if you're going to an event... I love an hour-long show. Have you seen... There's a show called Six in the West End. Yes. All about Henry... Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Was, it's an hour with no interval. I didn't Perfect. know that. So it's like being at a little mix concert. Oh, my in, like, so Regency dress. Eli's been. And it I knew he didn't have an interval. Amazing. And he said it flies by. Yeah. But it, because it's, it's an hour. Yeah. yeah. I, weirdly, I think the shorter the better. The shorter is the more value for money. Jerry Seinfeld only yeah. ever does never does one second more than an hour. Yeah. This is the longer you stay out there, the more chance you have of losing. If you stay out there long enough, you will definitely lose. Yeah, our talk show will be twenty minutes with an hour long interval <laughs> at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and now, just chill okay, out. that's all from us. Enjoy the interval. Yeah. <laughs> Part two tomorrow in Birmingham. Yeah. Can't wait to see you there. No, I always drag it out a bit, and the band say, "Come on, just keep it short." And they are, they are right. Okay. Less is more. All right. Um, what else? What else? Well, I guess it's you know it's it's just <laughs> it's Taskmaster Children and the Horn Section. Oh, we got a podcast. Is there? Oh, there's a dress code for the show. <laughs> the audience have to come all dressed in white. They have to come. Well, they don't refuse really. entry. No. Well, what? Seriously? I've, I've got an idea. I think you like this, Chris. I'm telling everyone. Today, with you, that audience members have to wear white. Right. And then when they come to the show, I'll be able to tell who's heard this interview. Because on the podcast, we tell everyone to wear yellow. 
Okay. So when I look out, I'll be able to tell, well, there's the podcast listeners over there. There's Chris Evans listeners there. I'll go on... Uh, so this is your market research? This is market research. This is, so if you're listening now, wear white and I'll be able to tell who you are. That's the very... That, that um, blue, yellow, green person thing, the, psycho- the psychology experiment. You I'm going to say you, yes. You're rated as a person. But there's fun in that. There's a game in that already, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, dividing the audience up. Yeah. We're getting loads of WhatsApps about you. Not even ask for any. You're so popular. People love you. John in Holmes Chapel, I've uh, been a long time follower of Alex, so thank you so much for the laughter. I'm always John. intrigued by your amazing t shirt choices. You must have a huge collection. Are you unveiling any new ones during this year's tour? <laughs> unveiling t shirts? Um, <laughs> well, we are selling t shirts, so if you like shopping, come to the show. Um, if you like shopping, I don't come know to if I'm unveiling. I've got a t shirt now which Rachel got me for Christmas. It's of a. What is it, Rachel? Well, bear, it's a polar, polar bear. bear um, uh, paddle boarding yeah. but I prefer your jumper actually which is the Golden Girls Golden Girls jumper Brilliant. always awesome yeah. Jane says morning Kristen team and Alex please can you ask Alex what he's looking forward to the most about going on tour I have my tickets and we can't wait to see him I'm looking forward to the ones where I have to stay over sorry Rachel <laughs> but that's when we what I don't like about a tour nowadays is where you zip in do the show and zip out and you don't see the town at all so right. we're pl- places like Middlesbrough and Durham we're going to make the most of we're going to do the sights all right. And meet the people. Sonia says, Monica's the team currently WhatsApping from sunny southern Italy. Nice. Woohoo! <laughs> if Alex had to come up with a task for the Breakfast Show team, what would it be? Great show, as always. It's always food related. It would be eat something beginning with every letter of the alphabet within the hour. Just go. Because you're, you're in a London bridge. You can find that stuff, can't you? What's, yeah, what's the number one? Yes, <laughs> for a market. What's the number one, the number one task that you, that has been. A, your favourite. Mm. B, the favourite of the crew or the team. Mm. C, the hardest one to pull off. D, the most popular virally or with the audience. I'd say the one that keeps coming back to haunt us is Chesham Town Hall. The comedians walk in. The mayor of Chesham is sat there. And all the task said was impress the mayor. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. And these are five entertainers. It was Richard Osman, Joe Wilkinson... John Richardson, uh, Catherine Ryan, and another... Uh, Doc Brown. So they're brilliant comedians, and they were so under pressure, even though their job is entertaining people, but just seeing them try to impress a mayor. So Richard Osman juggled, Catherine Ryan did a rap, Joe Wilkinson stole the show by running to Sainsbury's at the other end of Chesham, coming back with 24 Calippos, and that, 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 <laughs> and that impressed the mayor. And two cans of beer. And four cans oh, of strong lager, <laughs> yeah. So that's the one. I just really like that. encapsulates the show really so well. So it's your fave. Yeah, because we see the mayor of Chesham quite often, and he still he now has a Twitter account as the Chesham Do you Taskmaster. Think you'll ever mayor. one day be the mayor of Chesham. The mayor of Chesham is a volunteer job, and it's loads of work, and you don't get paid, so no. Okay, <laughs> just checking. So that's that's tick. We've asked that one. Um, other potential um, mayoral candidates for Chesham, um, nothing to fear here. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're fine. You're All safe. right, off you go. Uh, I also the the favourite of the crew might be there was one which we didn't do for a few series because we didn't know where it would go. Was give Alex a special cuddle. And that didn't seem appropriate, but eventually we said, let's just do it. So that ends up with me in the back of Bob Mortimer, in the I boot saw, of Bob I Mortimer's car. I saw that one. Yeah, just Bob Mortimer cuddling me in the boot of his car. And in the boot of his car, he already, he already had a, a spray deodorant and a banana. And, uh, just anyhow? He, yep, and he sprayed them and we ate the banana. Never knowingly goes out No, without but, one. but he'd never been in the boot of his own car before, but now he has. All right. That's and what Taskmaster does for you. The viewer's favourite that you know about? The viewer's favourite, the, they like the music ones. Right. They like the ones where the comedians have to come up with a song quickly. There's Ramesh Ranganathan singing a song about the tree wizard. That, that, probably, that was our first viral hit. Wow. Yeah. That's it's tough. That's the one the kids like. It's tough, which is why people love it. How many um, series of Taskmaster now in the can and having been broadcast? Good question. Series 17 starts soon. Eight, I'm going to say it might be March. Seriously? And 18 is, we finished yesterday. Same slot? Tasks. Same slot. Thursdays at nine. Yeah. And Tas- Junior Taskmaster, when's that going to air? Later in the year at 8 p.m. on a day of the week. Good. It's fun for all the It's really great. It's nine to ten and eleven year olds, and it's so magical seeing kids be kids and use their imagination and be competitive, but also supportive. It's great. I, I used to work in telly. I promise it's true. Okay, I have a BAFTA like yours, and it's real. Um, <laughs> and I would suggest, respectfully, humbly suggest, mm-hmm. also a, a repeat showing 
Sunday afternoon. Sunday, That's a great Sunday idea. Sunday tea time, five yeah, o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you want. If you do your homework, you can watch Taskmaster. Yes. Okay, kind of right. Well, I'll put that to the The parents the boss. and kids' favourite. You know, spread the love, man. Yeah, and finding a show that you can watch with the family. It's where the Muppets used to be, half past five on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. The old Muppets lot. And it's aimed It's not aimed, it's aimed at families rather than aimed at kids. So the stuff the, ki- the parents will enjoy, the kids won't understand and so on. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. So you get a telly person in, right? Amongst many other brilliant talents, and suddenly you you go back. Something happens, and your old telly spirit it resurges inside you, and you finish nine forty five wow. zero zero bang on time. Look and we're uh, out, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Alex Horn. Thank you, Chris Evans. Bye, All right, bye, the Rachel. Section dot com for tickets to the Horn sections. Hit show. <laughs> All right.